from Bimbika. I uh, was brought up uh, in Kushi. Um, right now I stay in Matero, Gusaka. Uh, I'm an entrepreneur. I run a workshop of granite countertops in uh, um, tombstones. Um, I've studied the accounts. I did accountant technician diploma from NIPA. I've worked for two different companies, which is uh, Timber City in McKinney and Great Homes. I've been in this industry for about six years now. In uh, last year, 2020, I stopped and uh, thought of opening my own thing since I've got experience now. So now I opened a workshop of granites and stormstones. Um, we do make tombstones according to the way you want. We also do fit kitchen countertops, granites, and uh, quasi stones. We are located along uh, Emmysdale, which is off Shake Shake Road, opposite uh, Wire Force. Um, this business with my sister, no, she's not here. Uh, uh, we are running the two of us. So uh, just run us through where are you coming from? Why have you? Why did you decide to venture in such a business? Because you've done accounts. Uh, the reason why I decided, I thought like maybe just working, depending on one salary, it wasn't enough. So I decided to start my own business so that at least I'm able to sustain my living. And because of the interest I had, and because of the. Uh, the work that I've been working, like the experience I gained from my two previous companies where I worked for, I thought of opening the same company so that I, at least I can uh, at least work for myself. Okay, so like, <laughs> like do you feel some resistance from your family or, or, or female friends, for instance, because only a few ladies are doing what you're doing, you motivated that time? yeah sometimes i feel but uh it's about what you want in life you need to be determined yeah there are friends uh, uh families here and there to pull you out but it's about what you want when you know what you want no matter what you can still do it so despite the challenges i've been facing like with friends families but i'm able to do the business because of the interest that i have in it Okay, so like um, <clears throat> uh, where you are operating from, okay, before we even go there, do you, um, how do you make these tombstones? For someone who would want to venture into such a business, what strength should I possess? What courage should I possess? Uh, well, about the courage, because the materials that we use in making tombstones, it's the granites, of which here in Zambia we don't have mostly we have but mostly they come from zimbabwe in south africa so um it's not that difficult like anyone can do the business just about uh connecting yourself and having interest we order like them in slabs and then we cut according to the design also they're imported yeah they're imported so we order them from south africa and zimbabwe they come in as slabs and then we cut according to the size that you want let's say if we are fitting the kitchen countertops or the bar countertops even staircases we do that so we cut according to the sizes that you want if you want a design maybe of a cross maybe of a pyramid because there are different designs of tombstone so we can do according to the same thing that you want it's customized i uh, personally uh, if I was running such a business, I would be skeptical about who's dying today. Who's like do you? How do you feel when somebody buys a tombstone from you? Do you feel like oh, okay, now I have clients today, I'm making money? <laughs> Did you feel bad? No, it's not about uh, like who's dying today. Those tombstones that we sell, they are for like most of the people that buy, they do it to remember their loved ones. So they could not buy for someone maybe who has died today unless that's the way they want it as a family but in most cases we normally have like those who want to do memorial service for people for their loved ones that they've lost so that's what we do 
you, you talked of the um, <clears throat> you order slabs that you later turn into tombstones and kitchen whatever that is that you do. Yes. Um, <clears throat> talk about the, the, the travel restrictions, COVID nineteen as a young entrepreneur. How has that affected you in terms of accessing those resources? I've been affected so badly uh, because even like uh, the prices have gone because uh, it's not everyone who's able to travel and get those things that they need from abroad. So there are challenges but we are pushing, we are pushing because like whenever they are traveling to get the trucks that we use, they normally go every test to make sure that they are okay and they are safe to travel and bring the same stuff that we order. Okay, you, you, you uh, before we begin, um, how much is <laughs> the tombstones? They range from uh, 11,000 depends on the designs that someone wants. So they range from 11,500, we've got for 15,000, 17,500. Uh, twenty thousand, even uh, thirty thousand, depends on the ones that they want. Which one is the cheapest? The cheapest is for eleven five. Why is it cheap? Like you sleep better on the. No, it's not that. <laughs> it's not like, like you sleep on it. Uh, it's uh, the materials used and uh, the the simple design. Also, we put that as a cheapest so that everyone can afford. It's not everyone who can go for. A fancy uh, or like a modified tombstones. So we've put it at level five as the cheapest, so that at least everyone is able to afford the. Oh, it's very easy. She's uh, able to respond to that um, later on when you be able to advertise stuff. Then how much the cheapest tombstone you just say the 11, 11 5 okay yes. let's talk about the kitchen unit yes and how do you separate the two uh, um, uh, material as in granite uh, with the kitchen units we do according to the sizes like we cut from the slabs then we polish according to the size of the kitchens that they want Okay. we do customize like according to the way someone wants and of course they come in different colors we've got variety colors of granites about eight of them so we do like according to the color because mostly like, uh, the cabinets are used as in the wooden tops uh, so we still bright colors so that they are able to choose from the colors that we have How often do you get clients? Uh, what? Like with the... Okay, where do you get more clients? The tombstone business or the kitchen unit business? Like at the moment, I would say the kitchen unit business, there are more clients because like everyone, they are building like almost every day. They don't want to do kitchen units. So uh, we find that most of the clients, they are coming from... Uh, the kitchen uh, side compared to the tombstones. Tombstones, it's uh, unless when someone is doing the memorial, that's when you have uh, the, the client. Okay, so like in a week, how many uh, tombstones like people are not dying in? Uh, like in a week, sometimes it can even go maybe even two weeks. But in a week, like so far, because we started the business recently, uh, in a week, about those ones we do quotations, they are, they are sitting about two, three, four. And then maybe in a month we are able to sell about uh, three or four, four tombstones in a week. That but will cut up for your rentals. Yeah. So you you need which one works better for you, spending time at work or doing what you do? Uh, this is the reason why I had to leave work and start my own thing. I would rather spend my time. Uh, doing my own job than working for someone. Are you empowering any more uh, youths? Do you see uh, yourself empowering many women inside of uh, business? And what form of 
that we see from young people. Um, yeah, just in those lines. Uh, like you want to power someone and you tell them, oh, <laughs> we also make tombstones. <laughs> see what I mean? What sort of resistance do you get? Of course, there is. Uh, what I can say on that one, um, so far, we inspired about two like we didn't just start the same business as i said it's about what you want and the interest you know doing business or being an entrepreneur it's not about uh what you study it's about the interest you have they say uh with business you need to do what you know better so with me since i had worked before in the same industry that uh, was dealing with the same things so i thought it was easy and better for me to do the same kind of business because I'm like originally I know about it. So like if someone who would want to do the same kind of business, it's not uh, that hard or they need is uh, to be that means to focus. Of course the challenge is there's no business that doesn't have any challenges. There are challenges here and there, but they just need to know what they want. In, uh, uh, what they want in life, what they want to achieve. I know something is a new, something then I think it's okay. Let's, you, we, let's go back to, to the tombstone business. You feel like uh, a clever client comes to you and say, Wow, that tombstone you made awesome. Or it's just like it's all rose and no more rose. Disappointing a client. Are you telling me you're oh, like in that one? Throughout. <laughs> <laughs> no, we may disappoint them in terms of maybe delivery period, just in case of maybe power interruption because of the loading and maybe too much workload. So maybe we go back we make sure that we deliver them uh, at the right time. So in the wake of COVID-19, you've uh, had more kitchen units than tombstones. Yes, yeah, so we've had more kitchen units than tombstones. Someone would uh, want to know more about you in terms of uh, your uh, locations, where you found everything about you. Um, if you have uh, social media handles that would want to put out your plan to market yourself. Okay. Uh, we are located in MSD. That's off Chicago. We are just opposite, direct opposite of our That's where our workshop is. In, uh, I think that. If they want to contact us, it's on 0977 13 15 85. So you don't have problems in the night when you sleep and think about it. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like that. Okay, what's the point? Yeah. Your full name? My full name is Theo Mundika. My company name is Kemwa Homes. So how long does it take?
but uh, one thing I'll is about how you get the cash. If you you need to know you need to have that clientele savings. Yeah, you need to know how to get the cash. You don't need to disappoint the clients like uh, in how despite having too many competitors, but with our clientele system, we are making that we keep the clients that we have. No, but look, I wouldn't want to, to go back to buy a tombstone. I wouldn't want, you see what I mean? I would, as a client, I wouldn't want to go back. <laughs> anyway, um, what was that? Yeah, so how long does it take for one tombstone to be done? One tombstone, I'm able to do it within uh, five days because of the writing and the printing and stuff like that. How do you print them your machines? We have big, big um, uh, you know, uh, companies that deal with this. So how, how do you cope with this? How do you cope with that? Because Don't you see yourself there? How many clients? How many employees do you have? Uh, at the moment, I've got about three men in one assistant. Also, you like this. Like we need to put more effort to get the clients so that at least we are able to uh, of course be able to import more stock. How about back to clients you go to the cemetery and say, ah, you feel like I've been in a monopoly. <laughs> like it's so no, you buy so much. <laughs> no, like in most cases, uh, what money is out from the first time so that we are done. Like two tombs on. So, we were able to get recommendations, like someone recommended us. So, then the other ones did, and then the other ones recommended. So, it went like that. So, that's why it is good to do a good job. So, like, at least you get recommendations from the clients. So, like, at the moment, because uh, the page is a little bit small, it's not yet boosted, uh, we are getting. Uh, clients from uh, the jobs that we've done like they are recommending us no oh, okay yeah. nice so uh, do you feel uh, do you feel like empowering any more like a group a bunch of people to do you see this company growing After, you haven't told us when it started <laughs> <coughs> it's actually started in um, September 2020 on 5th September that's when we started the operations we just actually have a workshop and office it's not yet done that's when we are working on that so it's just a workshop and i've seen it growing because uh, from the time we started and uh, up to where it is today at least there is a good response from clients both from those who need tombstones and those who want to do kitchen countertops those who want to do staircase at least we are receiving uh good respond it's not like the way it was when we started when we started it was a bit different we only had like one client in a we sometimes we could go maybe two weeks without a client but for now at least the risk from the client is uh, quite good especially from the kitchen and the from so uh janet is in high Wait, wait before we even go there. How do you balance uh, love and work? <laughs> Let's, <laughs> not <talk> <laughs> Let's not talk about that. Let's not talk about that. Okay, all right, okay, okay. Love is different from work. Yeah, okay. Cool. 
but but still how do you balance that? that? Does it <laughs> no, just... does, doesn't it like come in your way at some no. point where your uh, your partner wants to see you, then the other hand you know, have a big, big client and you, you see how it goes. No, it's about communication. Like when you're in a relationship, it's all about communication. That's what I can say all the time. So does it interfere with you? No. All right, you can be what you want. So like to anyone who wants to start a business, what I can advise is on, um, it doesn't matter what you have, as long as you know what you want, you are determined, you can still do it. Like, um, uh, you can do anything. All you need to do is to put yourself together, get focused, be determined, then you can set everything, then you start. Alinani Sitwala says they're watching from Sinazongwe. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much, Thelma, for joining us on the Smart Youth Entrepreneurship segment. Perhaps you can give us closing remarks. Or you just did? <laughs> yeah, I just <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you very much. Looking forward to interview next time with you.